the six recipients that we are honoring this year. The first distinguished leader to receive the Maharshi Medal of Enlightened Leadership today is His Excellency Dr. Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank of India for their lifelong service and dedication to the welfare of humanity. Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu Mangalam Garudvaja Mangalam Pundari Kaksha Mangalaya Tanohari Ramesh Pokhriyal was born in a very poor family in the Himalayas. He studied in Sanskrit Mahavidyalaya and became an Acharya. He then started his career as a teacher. He was first elected to political office in the state of Uttar Pradesh. He has written novels, stories, poems and travelogues. In total, he has authored 103 books in Hindi some of which have been translated to English or other languages. Ramesh Pokhrialji has been honored by more than 15 countries. Since the beginning of his career, cultivated in the Himalayan culture, he has always been a great devotee of Vedic culture. As such, he had the opportunity to spend time with the Jyotirmat Shankaracharya tradition and has deep appreciation for Mahashi Mahesh Yogi. After 30 years, the minister created a national educational policy approved by the parliament, which puts together the most advanced scientific education with the ancient Vedic values of India. This new revolutionary education policy was praised by MIT, Harvard, Cambridge, Michigan and more than a hundred other institutions in the world. As part of this new policy in education, the Honorable Ramesh Pokhrialji launched a program called Veda for World Peace and also the Dr. Tony Nader Award of Veda for World Peace and promoted a number of conferences of the most distinguished universities of India on the subject. This program that puts together the discoveries of Dr. Tony Nader of the 40 aspects of the Vedan human physiology as guided by Mahashi, as well as the book, One Unbounded Ocean of Consciousness are being implemented now in 1300 universities and 10,000 schools to reach an initial 10 million students to practice Mahashi's technologies of consciousness. Honoring Minister Pokhrialji is honoring Vedic India. Greetings. On the occasion of this important program on Guru Purnima, I welcome the respected Maharaja Dr. Tony Nadar, the respected Dr. Bevan Maharishi, the respected Raja Luish, and I welcome all the esteemed representatives of the Maharishi organization who have gathered from all around the world on the auspicious occasion of Guru Purnima. And I want to express my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes because all of you have come here with the awareness of the Vedic sciences that has the welfare and protection of humankind as its main philosophy and that all of you are collectively working towards this philosophy. I want to welcome all of you for that. On this occasion, I want to welcome all the representatives who have come here from more than 110 countries to Dev Bhumi Uttarakhand on the foothills of the Himalayas. I also welcome you all from the land of the Vedas, Bharat, 
on this auspicious occasion. On this occasion, I welcome the respected I made Mangaku Pastika, who has been the senator of Indonesia as well as the erstwhile governor of Bali, the respected Dr. Deepak Prakash Baskota, the former Home Minister of Nepal as well as the chairman of the Nepal Maharishi Foundation for Vedic Culture, Dr. Imam Umar Ahmad, the chief Imam of the Indian Imam Association and Dr. Mache, who is the founder and the director of a school for girls who have faced discrimination in Thailand. He is doing exemplary work in that area as well as the Honorable Priest Graviel who has established a school for children facing hardships in Colombia and is doing exemplary work in this regard. I greet all the guests who have arrived today as well as all those who have been associated with this movement the world over from Dev Bhumi Himalaya and from Veda Bhumi Bharat. Today, we have an important program related to Guru Purnima. Bharat has been referred to as Vishwaguru, meaning the leader of the world. Here Bha means light and Rath means something that which helps it, something that is constantly helping it to emit light or luminescence, something that is constantly striving, constantly operational, that is the definition of Bharat. And this concept encapsulates the whole universe. Here Guru means the one who emits light and the essence of a Guru has always been depicted with utmost significance. We have a saying that goes, Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasme Guruve Namaha It means Guru himself is Brahma, the creator. Guru himself is Vishnu, the preserver. Guru himself is Maheshwara, the destroyer. And Guru is the absolute Lord himself. Thus, we offer our obeisance to the Guru. Not just this, but Guru has also been considered to be superior to God himself because it is the Guru who paves the way for us to reach God. It has been said by Kabir, Guru Govind do khade, kake lagu pae, balihari guru aapne, govind dio batae. It means, if Guru and the Almighty are found standing beside each other, then the question arises, whom should we pay our respects first? Kabir says, there shouldn't be any doubt regarding this, since had there been no Guru, it wouldn't have been possible to behold the Almighty. We couldn't have reached out to God. That's why the one who takes us to God is the Guru himself. And today is the occasion of Guru Purnima. And I believe that in this program related to Guru Purnima, all of you will say your prayers for your Guru and by doing so, you will be reaping those benefits which will make your journey to finding God easier. I am grateful to the Maharishi Foundation worldwide, to all the 110 representatives of different countries of the world who have conferred upon me their best and most honorable award, the Maharishi International Gold Medal, to have been awarded to my writing for the welfare of mankind. It is an outstanding achievement for the outstanding service that has been awarded to me, for choosing me. For this, I thank the representatives of all the nations as well as all the respected members of the jury. I am grateful from the depths of my heart to the one who is at the core of this outstanding mission, Maharaja Tony Nadar as well as all his associates. For appreciating my literary writings based on life's values, my devotion towards social and cultural activities, as well as for my magnificent public life, my tireless efforts towards the establishment of life's values, as well as my efforts towards taking the timeless values of Indian culture to the global stage. For all this, from the depths of my heart, I want to thank you. I am grateful to you for acknowledging my efforts towards incorporating the ancient Vedic values in education, for disseminating the traditional science and scientific knowledge and for my determination of the same in mission mode in India as well as the world over. 
for the praise that I have received and for the encouragement that I have received for that I am grateful to you. I want to assure each one of you who have assembled here today on this world stage that till the last moments of my life I will continue to protect these values with utmost concentration, with complete sense of surrender and whenever you will feel my need I will surrender myself to you and will always be eager to take these values the world over. Uh -huh.